Praise God. Our focus is still on believing that in God's time, everything will not only be beautiful, but it's going to be perfect. Our God is good. But one thing I realized that life is really tough. It's really hard in this world. If no one has any problem, I salute you and clap for you. Good on you. But I believe I have a problem. Acrocolisness, some of them also have a problem. And what do we have to do? We have to keep on believing in our God. Because sometimes you think um, that you've got a breakthrough in life and that transition that sudden appears to you will change everything for good. You walk into it blindfolded knowing that God is in it with you. Then you realize that God is not that wicked to make such a transition in your life because you realize that you've put all your eggs into one basket. Then you ask yourself, why is God? Where is the Lord that I'm worship and call upon? Where is that cookie God that AC always talk about? It's really tough in this world. But our Father made us believe that whatever you go through, He is with you and He will deliver us. Whatever you are in now, don't regret taking a decision, believing that you are a child of God and our Father will order your steps or will take you out of the mistake that you just made. As I said earlier on, last week, our Father will lead us into the fire, but He will never let us crash and burn into crypts because He is not a wicked God. Yes, we are in that fire, but when the time is right, He will take us out. And he will make everything beautiful. As I told you, it's not about hearsay, but with my personal experience, I believe throughout my struggle, I know that the Lord will take me out. Even with the ones that I think is God leading me, then realizing that, oh, I'll walk into this path. Blindfolded, knowing that it was God's decision. But I know that, like, um, I believe that when you are in something, Perhaps you will not feel comfortable in that situation because if you're in something you feel comfortable, you end up probably forgetting who God is. So you go through struggle and challenges knowing that God will take you through by allowing the Holy Spirit to give you that spirit of patience to endure whatever you are going through. But when he realized that you cannot take it anymore, suddenly there will be a turnaround. And he will take you out. You take a step, do your best, and the Lord will do the rest for you. All you need to do is to believe in him and know that in his time, he will make everything beautiful because he is a good God. Not because of only that, because of how he does his things. You walk into things that you think is a breakthrough from God, you step into it. Then you ask yourself, God, this is really a punishment. Is it a punishment or what? But in all those things, you are allowed to ask questions. Because you're going through, going to a human being to discuss this with, what will happen? They will tell you, let's pray and give it to God. So when you go and you kneel down and you pour your heart out to the Lord, you are allowed to ask God, why did he lead you into that? Because you walk into that transition that you think is from God or that breakthrough is from God, then you realize that no, God will not take you into that pain that you, that, that transition. 
that sudden breakthrough that you were so excited about there's no way god will take you through that because i walk into that thing knowing that it's a breakthrough from god but in all i know is it even good or bad you need to thank him even walking through that path then i ask god this is punishment there is no way you will bless someone and ask sorry to it god doesn't work like that then you will know the difference that he bless you without adding any sorrow to it so in all he said even in bad times and in good times you give praise to him because when he realized in that bad time you cannot contain it anymore it will suddenly deliver you and turn things around for your own good so that his name not any other human being not any river just name it, not any small god will be praised but only him will be magnified because of who it is and when your time comes nothing will stop it because the lord has spoken and no one will stop it so in your time children of god i know i understand life is hard it's tough and i know we have all this perception that life is too short but we don't have to make it short for ourselves we need to hold on on to god although life is short we don't have to make it short we have to hold on on to god to help us through our struggle to help us through our difficulties and he will deliver us why because he said in his time he will make everything beautiful and he is a good god because of how he does his things praise god you are still listening to akoku africa radio uk inspirational time with myself ac enjoy 